Morning everybody, it's Chris Jeff from Student Education with the Four Majors notice update for the 3rd of April 2012. Hi guys, going to be going the Four Majors. Have a look, uh, as you see I've got my four charts up, my weekly, uh, daily, four hour and hourly charts. And this is of the Euro US dollar, you can see I've got all my lines I've had on for the previous days just to give you an idea of what price I've been doing since I've drawn these lines on. So on the weekly, let's just touch on what's been happening. So weekly, last week, up, bullish upside movement three consecutive weeks of upside trading above the 20 period moving average number which is great and trading above that all important 13300 mark which happened to be a very strong resistance in the past so we've got over a milestone great it needs to be maintained those highs above those milestones and kick up to at least the next potential target for here which is roughly around the 134500 mark the prior swing low okay so 50 and the 200 still above price. We're still very much in a negative downside trend. We are seeing upside movement, however. Higher Sphinx dictates uptrend. And you can see that we've had a pullback since then. And price has been edging up over the past three weeks. Tentatively, broken above 13,300, which is a very, very important one. Let's have a look and see what it's like on the daily time frame. A lot of consolidation through February and March. Pretty much turning sideways. That downside trend. Uh, took the highs over here, for example, of the last swing lows. There we go. And you can see price is testing them as we speak. Okay, the institution is still above price, so we're still in a negative downtrend overall, long term. How we will see uh, consolidation sideways. If I just zoom in now, you can see that I've got um, 13,300. And since we've breached 13,300, we've had a full week of indecision. Uh, price has just been trading sideways in a very indecisive or consolidative uh, range not making a headway towards those previous highs that we saw before we saw this uh, this this bearish move to the downside so great um, CTC is in our favor the only thing we got to is 13300 so th th the positives are and they are uh, they are our full strategies in, in is giving us a buy signal so we have our blue arrow blue candle and CTC on the top is blue we are trading above the two smaller time frame moving averages, i.e. the 20 and 50. We have broken a very strong prior support and resistance. You can see for a long period of time here, for a couple of months, we saw resistance at this level here, 13300. We're now trading on the opposite side of it. So that's a good sign, a good positive sign. Okay, now we're trading sideways. We do need to see price kick on now and break above 13400. As you can see over the past week, it has been a resistance level. The moment we get that bullish engulfing over here, then we should definitely be looking for 13,500 as our first target and second target here at 13,600 on the daily. Okay, so everything's looking good for go. The only thing we need now is a, is a break of this consolidation range here, and then we should get the second extension, third extension to the upside. So looking at our four hour chart, you can see the CTC is very much in our favor. We've had a nice pull breakout. Here we go. That was the breakout we saw. We had the pullback. Nice little wick to the downside, testing the swing highs here above all the moving averages and most importantly above the institution moving average and most importantly also above the 13300. So on the 4 hour chart we have a all systems go. Yes we have a bit of red in between it but we're still trading um, with the major trend on this time frame which is up. All we need to do now has have a, is, is have a break above this consolidative range here. You can quickly see a lot of wicks to the upside. Don't want to get caught in all these wickiness so just cap these wicks. Get a nice bullish engulfing above all this. As long as it maintains above 13,300, we should still see price moving to the upside. So break above 13, this this area here, just below the 13,400. So 13,380, uh, nice bullish engulfing. We confirm that price is still looking for steady upside movement. And ultimately, we should be looking at here at the 1345 or 13,500 mark as our next potential targets for the remainder of the week. Let's have a look at the hourly, just to give us an overall feel of how things are going. This is my entry. I always base my entries on my hourly. You can see the upside trend, the um, the institution moving average below price. So this is all confirming positiveness. We're trading above 13,300. The only downside is we haven't breached the, the highs at 13,380. Okay, just been consolidating bound break uh, resistance, 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 resistance. Relative strength in this consolidation has been dropping. Notice these highs, even though we are tempting prior highs, RSI has been definitely slowing down. Okay, not a problem. We're going to get slowed down. There's a concept. We are trading in a consolidation range. That will happen. 
Okay, what we do want to see now is you want to see a breach of this because the last thing you want to do now is see price running over. The moment RSI gets back below 50, it's going to tell us that there's more negative sentiment uh, build up and we should see potential for 13300 being uh, retargeted and potential for, for a break to the downside. You can see a number of occasions where the institution moving average has act or institution moving, av moving average has acted as support. You could see a lot more of that happening. Okay, so it's important that we do get a break of this area here at 13380 uh, as soon as possible. These yeah, this, this resistance high. Otherwise, price will uh, consolidate, and the more it, it, it finds resistance at these levels, the more likely it's going to see it's going to fall. So we could see 13380, oh sorry, 13300 being breached, if that's definitely the case. So want to see 380 being breached. So I put a nice little uh, trigger alert here above 380, and a nice trigger alert below 330 to give you any signals for a buy or sell. Uh, otherwise, what you could do is drop to the smaller time frames and just uh, pretty much trade this between the two ranges. Next up is Sterling. Let's have a look and see what's been happening on the weekly. See how the week has started, progressed. Last week it ended up very, very bullish, breaking a very strong uh, long term consolidation here over a month at the 5900 mark, but then we went straight into play with the 1600, which happened to be also a very strong support and resistance level. Plus, it also confirms the resistance level for the institution moving average. And for the first time, we're trading above the 1600 now. And in doing so, trading above the psychological, uh, well, the institution moving average on our weekly, which is great. That's that, that will should uh, give us a lot of, 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 of sentiment to the upside as long as we can remain above these areas here. Uh, there we go. You can see the institution moving average acting as a ceiling level for a long period of time. Uh, notice it be through October and November of last year, ceiling level coming through through to February, March of this year, a lot of ceiling, a lot of consolidation at the underside of this, a faked uh, breakout, pullback, then a, a, a prolonged period of time where we sat and, and we hear butted with it uh, in mid-March and then we had a nice breakout, then the pullback and then the continuation up to 1600. Now we're trading above 1600, we had a spinning top yesterday above it, so great, it's still it's very uh, not indecisive. It, it is an indecision candle. It's trading above 1600. So now all it's doing now it needs to just find support over the next couple of days. If it can, if it can remain above 1600, then ultimately long term we're going to get those highs because people will be looking at it psychologically on our weekly as a breakout, trading above a lot of uh, noise, a lot of resistance, prior resistance. Now there's not much in in terms of resistance in front of us. So they'll be happy to start purchasing more of this currency. Uh, for obvious reasons, because it's broken through a lot of noise, and then we should be looking at highs here, roughly around the 16, 1500 mark as potential targets. So upside trends, swing highs, everything's looking good. All the moving averages below price, and most importantly, trading well above prior resistance uh, in the past. So this is all looking good. So you can see on the Asian session last night, bit of upside moving, however, trading at the low end of the wick, uh, and a very small trading range is that uh, as we start um, wanting to see more decision from the from from the um, from the big boys, okay. So th things to notice from this note from this is our CTC, our strategy is all in favour. We have our red, sorry, our blue, blue arrow, blue candles, and blue across the CTC. Moving up all below price, uh, broken major resistance level just recently, the past couple of days. Now it needs to be supported by this this prior resistance uh, here at 1600, and then to kick onwards. So keep with us. This will be very, very, very good. I mean, everything's looking good for favorable topside as long as we can maintain, maintain those levels above 1600. Hourly chart, you can quite clearly see that 5900 being breached, all the institution, uh, the institution moving average below price. Trading above all the moving average as we speak here, you can see 1600, a lot of backwards and forwards for a long period of time. We're now pretty much broken and trading slightly higher. Notice the RSI though. Okay, we have tops above six, the 60 percent line. And RSI and, and, and price has been trading at those levels and we've seen a pullback. You can see quite clearly that RSI has started to slip a bit and consolidate as we've broken above 1600. Great. Now all it needs to do is stay above the 50 period, moving 50% uh, line because it'll tell us it's still positive sentiment. Okay. And you can see there happens to be a slight support here at 55% and as we make these highs. So swing highs are still depict upside movement. We are consolidating at the moment now. We might see a pullback to at least 1600 again. Uh, if if any, anything as price uh, stutters, 
but as long as we maintain above 1600 then you can see the second extension or the or the next move bounce to the upside quite shortly next up is US dollar Swiss franc let's have a look and see what's been happening in the weekly pretty much resistance here above 9250 uh, for a prolonged period of months and um, price is still trading between these two points now uh, sh there's almost a shooting star here at resistance and price has been edging way lower style of this week has been very very indecisive small trading range but anyway looking at 8950 as potential target uh, for the remainder of this week um, as you can see quite clearly here on the daily however we've had definitely got consolidation here at the 920 mark 9020 mark lots of uh, support through here price has broken lower but closed higher uh, very attentive CTC is an offer for further downside uh, both the 20 and 50 pair moving above, above price and we're having swing lows so all-time higher swing low swing low as price has moved lower and we're going to this consolidation now we should see a breakout soon and at least 8 nine fifty is potential target to the downside unless we get a nice bullish engulfing which cancels out all this consolidation here and then we see price edging back up to 9.10 again which we've come from before so as it stands now looking favorable for, for, for further downside however we need to, do need to see a nice break bearish break and close lower than 9.020 to give us confirmation that 8.95 is going to be our overall target for this pair for the foreseeable future a lot of movement um, backwards and forwards so here again just put in a a, a a um, signal below bearish engulfing close um, to confirm with the shooting star here exhaustion candle forming low, uh, lower swings all the moving average above price on the four hour looking favorable for for further shorts however we do need to see a nice bearish engulfing at 9020 to give us confirmation that overall 98 so the 895 would be our target for this pair the hourly chart let's have a look at the entry hourly chart don't see any bearish engulfing, so I see a lot of indecision, small trading ranges, a lot of wicks, and you can see the relative strength as we've been trading sideways at 9020, it's just been climbing. Uh, still below 50, however, so that sentiment is still negative, all the moving average below uh, above price, and what we want to see now, just to confirm this is further downside, is a nice bearish engulfing. Break lower, closing lower than all of this indecision here below the 9020 would definitely give us confirmation that we should be looking at ultimately long term at 895 as our next potential target. Last pair of the day is US dollar Japanese yen. Let's have a look at the weekly quickly. Uh, pulling back from these highs here at 8400, which happened to be a long term support and resistance after a major move to the upside over the past couple of months. And um, CTC has got two parts of it running now in our favor. We have blue uh, arrow, blue candle, however still trading below the institution so blue on either side of the CTC um, 8400 clear resistance for this pair we go to the daily you can quite clearly see that we are trading um, we're trading back from these highs here at 8400 the, the, the black line over here for example clear resistance indecision as we head into this uh, exhaustion candle here this little shooting star uh, engulfing and then we had a bearish move back however it's found support at roughly the 8250 mark failed to be trading below that for a long period of time significant uh, number of days and then yesterday's candle bearish engulfing taking it lower than these two indecisive uh, candles before so trading at the underside of this major support now so if price can find resistance here we should see price continue lower and the next port of call for this pair should be the 38 uh, 38.2 fib retracement area because the 23.6 uh, was initially the strong resistance level so as it stands now you can quite clearly see Price is trading below that uh, 23.6, which happened to be price support. Now, ultimately, the next uh, area would be the 38.2 here at the 8100 mark as our next target as we look for progressive downside to continue for this pair as we see a, a pullback. And uh, that should 81 should be our next target for the foreseeable future for this pair. So, look for price to stay, maintain its levels below the 8250 as long as it maintains below 8250 on our smaller time frames. You start, should start seeing a lot more um, red. So here we have it. Break, uh, break below the 23, which happened to be price support before. Take us down to the institution moving average. A bounce in the institution. We've got to see a break of that institution. So we have a breakout, the pullback, and then the continuation lower. That's the ideal scenario. Okay, That's what you want to see from a breakout. Or what we could see is a bounce and break higher again. And then we should see price 
remove, uh, moving back up towards these prior highs that we saw before we saw the um, 23.6 being breached. So very, very important that we do get a bearish engulfing here at the underside of prior support, okay? The underside of the 23.6 retracement, and then we see a nice bearish engulfing tracking us below the institution. Otherwise, this institution that, um, moving average here, the 200 on the four hour will just come in and uh, act as a support. So very, very important that we do get a break below this, this uh, institution ca candle, and then definitely be looking at 81, which happens to be the 38.2 as our next target for this pair. Break of that would take us down to 50, and break of that would take us down to 61.8, which is all being marked out here. So got to see a bearish engulfing or price failing to rally at the underside of 23.6. And if that occurs, or if that's generally the case, then we should see further progression to the downside for the remainder of this week. That's it, guys. I hope you have a fantastic trading day. Please, 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 please be aware that we're going into the first week of the month, a new month. So that means that non-farm payroll figures are out or due this Friday. It does fall on a good Friday, so we'll find that a lot of the traders, your um, your day-to-day -day traders, um, like the the futures market, etc., they will not. That'll be closed. However, the forex markets will be open nonetheless. So be aware of that. Um, Non-farm payroll has been quite significant, especially for this pair over the past couple of uh, months. We had some great figures back in early February, which started this whole bull run for the US dollar Japanese yen. It'll be interesting to see what the figures do this this month, um, because if it can help us, then we could see potentially this uh, upside moving continuing as we've seen the start pullback from 8400. So just be aware of that. Have a look. See the weekly. A lot of upside moving, a pullback. If we can maintain these highs, yeah, then we could see a uh, second extension to the upside uh, being next port of call for this pair. So just be aware of the news announcements, see how they will factor with price that you're trading or that particular pair that you're trading and factor it in, please. Other than that, keep it simple as I always mention. Make sure that your money management is spot on. Don't trade with a really um, inverse risk reward. We want to keep it nice and simple. Take profits when they present themselves. Let the market dictate what the movement and trade that movement okay we don't want to be speculating we want to be trading the the the, the definite signals out there and just be patient and you shall be rewarded okay so have a great day and i'll see you first thing tomorrow morning until then trade serenely <music>